Welcome to A Year in Marvel. Man, I missed this one. My name is Antonio Alcazar. Yo, when I am, uh, what would it be like? Uh, take or no? Oh, please don't do that. Take no. Jesus, why do you insist ta- on the ta- no. on the cartoonish What do you accents? mean cartoonish? That's, uh, I'm going to call that offensive. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> and since I help run this, uh, I can't get a three-day block here. <laughs> I hope you guys listen to our... Uh, can I ask you something today? Because that was all about three day blocks on Facebook. three day blocks on Facebook. <laughs> all right, so we come at this movie Shang Chi, Shang, as you like to say, you say it how you say it. Shang Chi, Shang, Shang. It's I, I think you're not even saying it correctly. I'm saying it it's as as Shang, correctly as I know how. Shang Chi, Shang Chi, right? Shang Chi and the Ten, <laughs> of the Ten Rings, right. as we Americans say it. Yikes! Uh, that's why he changed his name to Sean. <laughs> Sean and Sean. He became American. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying it like that. Sean, 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 and Sean. Okay. Sean Chi. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, that none of that shit matters. So we come to another Marvel film. Uh, yeah, fresh we, off the heels of Black Widow, and by the heels, I mean like three months. Has it already been? Didn't that come out in June? June, July, August. Yeah, you're right. And now it's September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. And then we got a uh, uh, November Eternals. So here is a thing I wanted to say to you. Yeah. You know how I felt about the Eternals preview. I felt that it was very yeah. They're they're way biting off more than they can chew. Yeah, Zack Snyder esque. Yeah. Like I felt like if Zack Snyder filmed a Marvel film, you, this you said, trailer was like you, it. You said Marvel was Prometheus. pretending. Yeah, they, yes. they, they were pretending they could do a highbrow movie. Yes. and they clearly can't. It's so uh, while I was at Shang Chi, I yeah. saw the actual trailer for Eternal. Yes, the long form trailer. I um, take back everything I said earlier. Okay, not about Marvel being able to. Pull it off. Okay. But they're not doing anything highbrow at all. They're just oh. doing another Marvel movie. It's just another Marvel It's movie. just another fucking Marvel movie. Fun, so huh? okay, now fun. I'm I'm back on board, sure. kind of, and I'm like, okay, I'll see Because you've this tempered thing. your expectations. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, there's no highbrow. You thought they were doing sort, some fucking right. like, beautiful Dune, art. Sorry, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. No, this is just another powerful god sort yeah. of thing and going to be a bunch of big fist fights and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And my problems with that are, are what they are, and we'll get to some of that sure. today. Okay. So, yeah. Here we go with Shang Chi, Shang Chi, and oh the <laughs> Ten, Legend Jeez. of the Ten Rings. So this movie starts off, and it has like this cool historic setting, spoken in Chinese. It's translated, you know, everything's translated for you, and we get like the story of how his father came, yes, you know, yeah. um, and the the conquest that his so father. So let's fought. start there, yes. right? Because this is effectively where they tell you the Legend of the Ten Rings. Yes, where. Well, I mean, as much as they're going to tell us in this movie, as we find out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is but, crazy. But that's what I mean. Like, okay, so there is a guy who, in some fashion, found ten rings. They yes. gave him crazy, stupid power. He started got taking the power over of everything. a god. Yeah, yeah. Started taking over everything. Uh, so, what did you think of that? I of the open. It. Yeah, I just fucking love that opening. I was almost weeping tears of joy. So you yeah. liked it. I is you were you were why, enjoying that. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What in the world would make you think I would didn't enjoy this? Just that you like to shit on all the Marvel movies that you watched. I was really this, I was really hoping because okay. from what I know about you, right? Yeah. You like a lot of Asian stuff. You like kung fu movies. Yeah. You like the Japanese movies. So when this was starting, I'm just like, this motherfucker better enjoy this movie because this is all the things that he dude. Likes. Everything through like. I loved everything about this tale. That's about awesome. him like falling in love. This is like a classic yeah. like Chinese mythological like begin like story beginning where sure. this like big bad guy yeah. falls in love with this I loved, like spirit. I loved this fucking yes. thing. Everything way. about all of this yeah, I loved the, immensely. There was uh so we've in the past had a lot of problems with or just like called out the fact that um a lot of times the powers just get real samey feeling. Sure. And this one, like... It, Not at all. Yeah. When he all. walked up to this fucking crowd of people, yes. I was just like, oh, this is... I love those rings already, you I know? Do, yeah, I And agree. then uh, uh, he busts down the place. And then the tale about how he's just like, for a thousand years, he just took over Conquered everything. everything yeah. yeah, I was... That was great. And I didn't even have a problem, which I thought I was going to have. With him, like, falling in love with this, like, lady. Cause why, I, would they, why would you have a problem with Well, because it's like, um, uh, I, like, I usually have problems with people or with movies um, making truly horrific people sympathetic. Mm. And up until this point, it was just like, well, this guy's just like a horrific monster. Why did you feel he was a horrific monster? It was like point. he was a warlord. You know, like, I, mean, I, like I associate a, warlords with I, just I feel like, like he's guys. like almost a normal human. 
That's yeah. like a normal human, like a person who gets power and is like, I'm just going to get more and more power. We see it every day, all the time. Yeah, that, that's still not, not a good person. I definitely don't hold that against a person because I feel like I feel like me and you could easily have that same sort of thing happen. Okay. I mean, I mean, Maybe you, I, I feel like you feel like you wouldn't, yeah. but I don't think you really I, fully picture how I you absolutely have it, wouldn't because like I'm absolutely incorruptible. I think well, there, you, there you go. <laughs> exactly. Now I see why you, you have a problem with, with <laughs> when will. So um, he falls in love with the lady yeah. because yeah. it's also partially clearly because she's like just as powerful as he sure, is. Sure. Yeah, I mean, exactly, that's the, yeah. clearly one of his yeah. things. He's just right like, there. oh my God. This you is know? finally yeah, yeah, yeah. something on my level, on his equal level. on my level, yeah. right? So I mean, he's never encountered that. Right, yeah. exactly. So I think that like plays into that whole thing. And so, yeah, he falls in love, and then we meet Chachi. Yeah. And, um,. And you know, and then we. I thought it was super heartwarming too. Him yeah. standing in the in the window, yes. And Shang Chi is like in his, uh, in his arms, like sure. that. Like I don't all, know. You're a parent, you know. Like all that of just, this stuff that feels so real, you know. All of this stuff touched me deeply. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, I love all this stuff yeah, right here. So, yeah. yeah. So then we get, uh, and then it jumps from 1996 to present day. Yeah. Which this, the time jump threw me off a little bit. Not the time jump. Yeah. So I was thinking to myself, okay, in 96, he looked like he was probably about six years old. So he was probably born in 1990. He runs away when he's 14 years old, which it would be like 2004. But then, like later on, and his dad years. says that I waited 10 years. Yeah. So is this supposed to be 2014? No. But it says it's present day. So the, the math doesn't add up for me perfectly because in theory, no, this guy should be 91 no, years old. No, hold on, hold on. In '96 mm-hmm. was when he met the wife. No. Yeah. No, it, it was '96 is when they're flying the helicopter to that that place. That's, yeah, uh, no. that's that's when he's just like, hey, I wanna I wanna find this fucking town or whatever. This. Oh really? Myth. I know. I yeah. thought in 1996 is when he's coming down on the helicopter. And he's just like, I want to find this mystic town. And then he goes and finds her, and then some nondescript thought, amount of time later they, is when he... Oh, maybe. I guess, like, because yeah. in the scene where they talk about 1996, they show... That's when they also show his mom talking to him. No, no, no. That's, yeah, they, they don't jump. Like, it's not... There's no jump or anything yeah. like that, man. I yeah. just saw the movie. Yeah, the, so if, if I remember correctly, okay. I saw the movie two days ago. It, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. What I'm, I'm saying gonna, is uh, that yeah. I think the math checks out. Okay, I just don't... Also, I don't feel like this guy looks like he's in his 20s anyways. Like, I, like when I did the math and he was like... 31 basically i was like yeah. okay yeah that makes sense he looks like he's about 31 but then i was like man this guy's kind of a loser for a 31 year old so now he's not as a bad loser why because he's a valet yes exactly Probably making fine money you do not make fine money as a valet in LA or wherever in San Francisco, in San Francisco, they were probably doing fine. I don't think they were doing fine. That's kind of why the parents were disappointed in, in, the, in the girlfriend. So, well, just the friend. So, either way, uh, they're in Aquafina. What? The, the her, her name, her actress. She's named Aquafina. You're kidding me, right? You didn't know that. Who is this person? She was a rapper and an, also an actor. That's ridiculous. So, anyways. Uh, so then we start to rock rock around. They they are you know living through their normal lives, doing their things and whatnot. And then they're on a bus one day, and of course this yeah. is when the shit starts to happen. Yeah, and they start getting into fights and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So so what you think of that of that bus scene? So there's two. Okay, so we're gonna get to That's funny. I had two opinions on this too. Why I have problems with this? Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. Um, there's two types of kung fu I love. Okay. okay? God level kung fu, okay. which is when like they're like floating, and yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. Like the beginning scenes where yep. she's floating around him and he's shooting out the. Fu- like I love that level, and yeah. then I love real kung fu, yeah. like the raid and stuff like sure. that, where people get tired and yeah. they get wore out, and they're just like oh, Jackie Chan oh. movie type movie. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. So where they're literally I, they look exhausted by the yes. end. <laughs> yeah. So clearly, I had a problem with this whole like scenario here Cause because it's kind of the middle ground. Because it's the middle ground, and yeah. I hate the middle ground because yeah. that's typical Marvel action. Sure, like that's like where they're 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 busting up some shit, but yes. they look completely unfazed. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the only, I feel like one of the only this is, people. This is uh, Black Widow falling down the rafters yes. here, where you're just like. So are you superhuman or right. not? Right, right, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, like, some of just, like, think about the Marvel movies throughout the years and, like, fist fights and beating the shit out of each other and stuff like that and then just yeah. back at yeah. it. Iron Man is, like, a classic version of that, which yeah. I always hated. The one character that I felt they did 
well with it actually was Steve Rogers because I felt like in a lot of his fights he was exhausted by the end of the fight. Like if you think about like the Civil, Civil War, War fight is the only one that I'm really thinking like, about. It. <gasps> yeah, right? Oh, like, no, or like when he's getting the shit whooped out of him by Thanos and he's just like yeah, fucking yeah. like exhausted yeah. at the end of that fight. And you know, honestly, I had that same thought not at the beginning. I had sure. my issues with the bus scene, sure, but I thought about that at the end, that okay. last confrontation. Yep. I really wished for some reason that they were all fucked up looking. Yeah. And they all were all fine looking. Yeah, Like, they didn't much. even have cuts on them. Right, yeah. Whereas, like, I wish that they were, like, you know, just Fucked up. Fu- like, right. bruised and bloody. Like, that just would have added, yes. you know? Like, that. some about that would have made it a little less, um, like, toy doll kind yeah. of feeling. Right. Like, there's a, there's yeah. a very, like... Pr- everything's too pristine always mm-hmm. kind of feeling yeah. that I also had an issue with. And I mean, that's so then, yeah, we, we, we deal with the bus scenes and all that stuff. Yeah. And then they go, my and, problem actually with the bus scene was go just ahead. my bigger problem was that I know that Disney has Disney money and they didn't put Disney money into this scene. I, I actually liked that. Really? Yeah. Because like, I felt it's, like, I felt that like it was a little jarring how not great the CG was. Huh, okay. Cause I felt like, it was, in this scene. yeah. I felt it was like fine enough. Yeah. Like I, like I, I thought like the crashing thing. Although that's not how like that to me like, especially because this woman is like has the skill of driving, yeah, which yeah. comes up. You that's know, just like her thing. I, I feel like <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, there's better ways to take care of this bus and sl- and like I've driven CDL sized vehicles. Sure, yeah. They don't just like go out of control like that forever. Sure, yeah. Like you, and also it's isn't there, like a gear system. Things, Can't you like lower the gear? Of course there is. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And there's like that's specifically in there so that you, if you do have like a runaway, sure. it eventually will slow down. Especially as you're hitting things. Yeah. Like the force of that is going to slow you down for there were some sure. physics like, problems. Yes. I course, also, but. I also didn't have a huge problem with the CG in this scene. Okay. By the end of the movie, because okay. I was just like, fantastical. clearly they put their money in the into fantastical, it, into right. the fantastical absolutely. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So they go from there. They jump into the plane. They're going to head out to see her sister because the, yeah. those guys are after. The How'd you pendant. like their relationship, Aquafina's relationship with uh, Shang Chi? Uh, I thought it was cool. I yeah. liked it because it was like, you know, kind of like we we kind of like each other, but we're also kind of just friends. Yeah. But we are like you know fighting against this. They, I felt like they definitely had some chemistry, of course, but it ne- it wasn't necessarily romantic chemistry. It was right. just like these fucking people, like. Probably actually vibe in real life. Right. It seemed like. I could see know. that. I yeah, could yeah. see that. And then we got to one of my, like, oh, fuck, man. Uh. And I was like, all right, I'm in this, like, kung fu fantasy thing. And okay. then Marvel was like, hey, wait a second. Don't forget. Uh-huh. This is still a Marvel movie because oh, we're going to make a joke about fucking beef and vegetarian. I hated that oh, so much. Yeah, the lady much. that came up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I was like. They were yeah. giving you some levity, man. I don't want those don't, laughs. Don't punish them for the levity. I want the laughs that they give me in other ways. I hate awkward laughs. Okay. I like well-placed laughs. Yeah. Like, I thought, like. It didn't super add anything to the story. It was just kind of like, a, hey, let's riff a little bit. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you had a better laugh coming up. So that was my thing for it. Because then they land, land in China. Here, you know, so they land in China. Yeah. And they're going through China. Yeah. And you know what I thought to myself, like, how cool it must be to be, like, this Chinese person who's never been to China going to China, right? Mm. And I mean, I, I don't know, because, like, as a Mexican person who's never been to Mexico, right. I would feel uncomfortable. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about that thing. I would, day, I I would like, think the whole time, like, they're going to know I'm not from here and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah, because of it. I don't know, man. Like if they, if I had a chance to like go to Africa or something like, that, I think yeah. I would jump on that, man. Uh, like, you're a little removed from Africa. My I know, guy. man, but that don't matter, brother. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Sure, like, yeah. that woman had never been to China. Yeah, either, but she but. still like uh, was Chinese. I also like that. I wouldn't the, call you African. <laughs> I mean, like, but like technically, I am of African descent. So uh, I feel either like way, the technicality there is either fresh. way. <laughs> so they, I liked also the play of China because like. You usually get, like, one kind of China or, like, this other. And I like the in-between China because, like, I feel like some idiots think of China and they just think of, like, back, you know, like, backwater, like, fishing villages. Or they think think of, like, hard communist fucking, like, like not this, like, normal city. Yes, of course, ignorant, especially ignorant fucking clowns. Yeah, for sure. This is a nice type of China. So I guess you think that Mexico is, like, sepia desert villages. Mud huts and stuff. I mean, like, I, if I remember correctly, didn't they film, like, all of the Mandalorian, like, 
nomad <laughs> villages in Mexico? Like, and then Desperado, bro. I watched Desperado <laughs> multiple times. I know exactly what Desperado Okay, oh, I suddenly f- believe you. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is the character I play, but I've also seen Man on Fire and shit like that. So I know that there's, like, gigantic cities, like, that are advanced in Mexico. It's not, like, fucking Brazil or some shit like that everywhere. Yeah, then we get a fucking... I I, I dug me some Abomination versus Wong, dude. I gotta yeah. say, like, I thought that was pretty... And that was a laugh that I liked, something like that. Okay. Like... Like, sure, yeah. You want to see how it feels? Yeah, <laughs> he just yeah. punches himself. Yeah. Like that made me laugh out loud. That was so, good stuff, yeah. Right. I and then you know what I realized at that part, man. Mm. I fucking love me some Wong, bro. Yeah. I I don't know why. <laughs> like I, every time Wong's he's on, just been I been enough now. Yeah, indeed. He's just like, and he's oh, I like that guy. Charismatic dude, yeah. man. Like he's just got that weird char- charisma that just really works. So. Uh, and this was another. And then they get into the martial arts fight. And this was another one when I was just like. Fuck, I hate non-tiring martial arts fighting sure. like from regular people. And I get it that these people are technically yeah. later going to be special, but they're not special right now. And they even make mention about how that kind of is. Uh, the, uh, so there's, the, um, there's a Marvel Cinematic Universe physics yes. that we have now experienced for near 30 movies mm-hmm. that I feel like we have no business having an issue with anymore. Like, I feel like... Why why do you feel that? So, I'll I'll tell you why. Because they have set up a universe where people just don't get hurt. And, like, uh, I like the raid, too, you know? But that's a different kind of movie. And I feel like in comic book movies... You're going to get people thrown through windows, you know, like it's just going to happen. And so but at I'm more time, okay with it. Well, I don't think it's okay. I, I, I had such a hard time getting that sentence out because I feel like an apologist. But it's been yeah. near 30 movies. You know, it's not going to change now. And there's no reason why. we. Can, I disagree. And the reason I disagree is look at, for instance, a, another movie that I saw a commercial for while I was uh, waiting for Shang-Chi. The Bond series. Uh-huh. The James Bond series was absolutely cartoonishly clownish for but many years. Tired. And then... Oh, no, but then... They, when they, Craig took over... Yeah, but that's different. They were like, that's it. now I we're guess, physical. It's a different universe every time. Every every new Bond Actor, is... A, mean, is a, yeah, every new Bond is a well, new okay. universe. Either way, you know, it is what it is. If you have no problem with it, and if you, listener, has no problem with it... I have less it, problem with cool. it after 30 movies. I am always going to call the... I don't like it, but okay. it is what it is. And here's the thing. I think in superhero situations... Where I don't know why I said it there. Where I'm they're super-powered? Like um, yes, I have less of a problem with it. Yeah. It's... Again, the martial arts. Sure. Like, I like martial arts to be one or the other. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. like the in-betweens thing. So, either way. Uh, then we get a fight. Uh, I another- thought the choreography was great, though. What's that? Oh, with the, the fight. fighting choreography? Yeah. I thought it was fine. I thought it was fine. Yeah. Um, then the Ten Thunder or the Ten Thunders. The, uh, ten oh, he, you know what I wanted to bring up before we got to the Chinese part and I yeah. totally forgot? What? Did you notice the posters in the background of that guy's pad? No. Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, buddy. You got the that. Kung Fu Hustle and yeah. the Warriors come uh, out and play. Yeah, so both those uh, I don't posters know the Warriors were in, the, in the background. So I like that. I know, it's on the list. So uh, then the Ten Rings show up and they start getting in a fight. Man, I was so nervous in this fight because like, I'm not a fan of heights. Oh, really? And so, like, free yeah, were you form fight, vertigo? I was just like, <laughs> for sure. right? Like, yeah. I went to Janet, and I, I looked at her, and I was just like, oh, I'm getting vertigo real bad right now. <laughs> I was in the ultra screen, three rows up. Yeah. So it was, like, fucking, like, <laughs> plastered, <laughs> and I'm laid back looking <laughs> at it like great, that. Yeah. yeah, so it was definitely an experience. And uh, his pop shows up and takes him and is like, all right, let's get going, man. Yeah, when pop shows up, I thought I was that was really cool. The, the blue fighter? Yeah. I was... Was sure it was going to be his mom. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, for sure. yeah. I didn't like. Think... It just got to a point where because the, they had they hadn't talked about how the mom died. Yeah, and this fighter was like silent fighter, so I was getting yeah. real bad Black Widow vibes. Yeah, where I was just like, is this going to be the mom? I thought it was going to be someone. Yeah, ended up being <laughs> nobody. Ended up being nobody. But yeah, for, sure. for the amount of fucking fanfare they played yeah. him, you know, yeah. you figured it was going to be something. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah, the dad kind of just lays out everything at yeah. this point. I loved... He's like, I'm not even mad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, He's yeah, just yeah. like, all right, time to yeah, come home. Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest. I love this villain. I'm going to tell you... Can I tell you something? Yeah. 
This is probably the second best antagonist they've had. Yeah. The only one I can think of all the time I had that's better is Killmonger. I, I'm sure. pretty sure I even like this character better than Loki. Because yeah, um, this guy seemed like not a mustache twirling villain. Right. He was just like, I'm just a dude. I love my wife. Yep. <laughs> you know, like, 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 I stopped being a piece of shit yeah. for this woman. Yeah. And then this woman was taken from me. And you know what? Me. I love my kids too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, I, I didn't, I left you alone. Yeah. Just do your life. Yeah. You know, like, that, that was so It cool. was like an Amish thing, you know, where they go away for a yeah, while. Yeah, it's time like to come it was home rum, now. his rum right. springer. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I love the fact, of course, I love the fact. And I didn't think they were going to go in as much as they did with this. Yeah. But I adored the fact. Fact that he paid homage to the Mandalorian. Yeah, and that's yeah. A, why did they call it the, the, the Mandarin? Mandarin. Yeah. Right, of course. Uh, imagine being afraid of an orange, right? Like that yeah, made me sure. laugh. And is, and I think they when called, I saw Ben Kingsley, I was just like, oh, they right. brought back. They ben went even Kings. further, right? Yeah, like sure. this. Just I really liked when they just mentioned it. Yes, I was just like, okay, right. the elephants out of the room. Yeah, of course. But then later on, they were just like, oh no, right? We're going all. <laughs> why not bring them back? Yeah, right, sure. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wenwu. Wen Wu. Yeah, Wen yeah. Wu. That was that was what he says his Chinese name is. It's Wen Wu. Oh, okay. So, um, they, uh, and, yeah, man, like, uh, they just kind of lay out everything that's going down, and he's like, hey, look, at here. here's the thing. They, you know, I'm, I don't know exactly what he was trying to, like, say, that, like, maybe they trapped her soul back there. Like, because sure. he knows she's dead, like, physically, because he's seen her dead body. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, so the way that I read it in the end yes. was that this thing just exercises some modicum of control over you. Well, of course, yeah. That's yeah, what we yeah, understand yeah. that as. So, like, but, like, he's just like, I don't know how, but yeah. she's alive. She's back there. And they're back. She's back right. there. Maybe yeah, she was yeah, reborn yeah. there or whatever. Whatever it is. Right. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. going to go get yeah. her back because that's, like, the point I'm of my I'm hearing her voice. I'm right. literally exactly. hearing her voice. Like, I literally, and he brought up that fact that, like, because the Ten Rings keep him young forever, and mm-hmm. he gave up the Ten Rings to be with her because he was like, I finally have a reason to be old, get yeah. old, and die. So I'm, yeah. this is the reason, though, yeah. here, and it's taken from him, yeah. which is funny because later on it's, it's technically because of his life that the, she gets taken from him in the first place. And he, Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi even kind of makes mention to that. Like, sure. his, he's the reason she's dead, even though he couldn't see, yeah. uh, see that. So. Um. Yeah, and then we get uh, the man. You know, uh, the Mandarin shows up because they're like, "I'm not down with your plan." There's something fucked up here. Yeah. And, and actually, I think if I remember correctly, they're cool with the plan at first, but he's like, "What?" It, she's because she even says, "What happens if you know they won't let you take her?" And he's like, "Then we're gonna burn the fucking place yeah. down." Yeah, so we'll that's down. when they're like, "Fuck that! We're not yeah. down with this shit." Yeah. Uh, because he is still a ruthless warlord. He's still a yeah, warlord, sure, right? He's yeah, still the yeah. leader of the Ten Rings. Yeah. So she's the only thing alive that'll pacify him. Yes. Otherwise, it's back to business. Back yeah, to yeah. fucking bringing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dude, that scene yeah. where there's the flashbacks. Yeah, I know. And then and then like the kid watches, and then he comes back, and then oh, he takes so his much. kid yeah. to the to the like the crime den or whatever, yeah. like to point him out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, yeah. that fucking scene was so cool. I know. I loved it so yeah. much. Yeah. Just like, like the force of the yes. ten, the rings. Yeah, that's what they, I liked about it. Right. That there was there was some uh difference in how these powers were being yeah. used. It really felt like like an Iron Man level character walked yeah. into a room of like humans and just right. you know, just yeah. this, blasted this the feel out. felt like a character that the Iron Man could have de- like fought with. Not like the yeah. like I really hated the fucking uh what was the guy's name? Kill uh, Kill Killian? Killian, yeah, yeah but yeah. I, I was thinking of Guy Pierce or yeah. whatever, you know, Guy Pierce in the film. I really hated that character. I felt like there was not even a match for Iron Man either sure. in the long run. Yeah. And like, but I felt like this one, and like that scene where he's just like almost uses him as a gun. He's like, all right, poosh, yeah. he's like, just like <laughs> blast him. In the, I was well. just like, God damn, that's yeah. awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. So, um, you know, and Ben Kingsley, this is, again, this is. The type of humor I'm cool with, man. Like, because okay. he's a humorous character. He's yeah. there to be humorous, and he's been set up. We know what to expect. He's a joke, right? He's a exactly. Joke. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and he's just, a silly, dumb stoner, bad actor right. kind of fucking guy. And, and like when he went, I literally laughed out loud in the theater yeah. when he told his story about why he became an actor <laughs> and the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh no, dude! The whole theater was laughing. Right, dude. Right, I was right. laughing my ass off. That was like hysterical. <laughs> fucking he's, he's like, if, if they can. Try Train an ape to act. I can, can yeah. imagine what I can do for the world, right? Yeah. Like, 
Oh, they man. weren't riding the horses, obviously. <laughs> they were acting like they were riding the horses. <laughs> that shit was so good. Oh, shit. It was beautiful, man. So, um, yeah, they, and uh, then Shang-Chi and then the whole crew, they're going to go, you know, sure. rescue the, the Yeah, because the little guy is just like, I can get you there before Yeah, exactly. Them. The, the so they, chicken dog thing. Yeah, yeah. So, they escape. Um, There's a cool little car chase scene yeah. where Aquafina drives the car backwards for a little while. That was pretty I, cool. So... I did not love the uh, Aquafina character. Really? I felt as though she is a little too Darcy-ish to me. Um, okay. Just kind of unneeded almost. And like, other than the fa- fact that she pay- plays Dale the Archer later on, you know, da- of, of, of Dale or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I just felt like overall, like, I didn't love this character much. And it definitely, especially once her sis- his sister showed up, I felt like it was just one too many characters in this crew. Um, well, Aquafina was the fish out of water. Character. I get it. She was the human, the, the Darcy. Mm, yeah, right. I mean, that's kind of like what she played too. So, like, and that's I, the I, I do like that. Though, okay, because I feel like without but Ben Kingsley's the, there as well. So, like, yeah, no, Ben Kingsley's the cartoon, just like everybody right, else. Right, I right. feel like, and I, I don't know. Maybe I think it it also has a little bit to do with the fact that I'm kind of biased because I like Aquafina as like a person. Cool. Uh, and then and a lot of. Uh, the movies that I've seen her in, she's always just like, I don't know, hysterical. She's just got a lot sure. of on screen charisma. So, like, I just liked her character. I'm like, oh shit, another movie with like a fun Aquafina character, okay. you know? That's I, so, like, she never graded on me, you yeah. know? Like, cause I was always just like very cool with her being there. But, like, as far as, you know, like now in retrospect, needed for the plot, you know? I don't know. It's good to have a fish out of water character, okay. I guess. But yeah, I could see it. And she drives them to Ta. Tao Li? Tao Lo? Yeah, Tao Lo, I think. Tao Lo, yes. And, and like, uh, I was actually, you know what? I was getting real heavy vibes. I know that you've never seen the Iron Fist, Netflix Iron Fist. But uh, in Iron Fist, there is a secret dimensional other place um, that uh, Danny Rand, like, was, like, trained in. Okay. Where he had to steal the heart of a dragon to become the Iron Fist. And uh, and it was you were feeling that here, and I was just like, "Are these the same places? Yeah, you know, like is is he from the same thing, or does like the Marvel universe have a ton of like extra dimensional Chinese places? Probably that, you know, like where like I guess everyone has like a different monk, yeah, kind of school. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'm down for that mythology. I just didn't know if it was if it was supposed to be the same place, and then they they just changed Kung Lung yeah. is what is what Danny Rand was from. Yeah. So I was just like, is this place the same place? I still haven't even looked it up. I should probably look that up. I felt too... Um, if anybody in the audience Wen knows, Wu, please, please, please I say. felt Wen Wu felt very... Um, and I'm sure he was meant to be, but he felt very... Um, Batman Begins... Uh, I can't remember the character's name now. Uh, Mr. Freeze? No, Maybe? Batman Begins, bro. <laughs> Fucking... Um, <laughs> Why was I thinking Batman and Robin? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, um... Ra's, Ra's al-Ghul. Ghul, yes. He was very similar to the Ra's al Ghul character in that, except for yeah. different motivations, but the sure. same kind of thing. You know, this Asian, like, except for they actually used an Asian, which was nice, you know. Right? Ra's al Ghul was supposed to be Asian? I mean, he's not, like, actually, like, I, I don't know. Like, he's, like, you know, one of those Eastern Russian sort of, like, in, gotcha. you know, in between her, sort of. Hey, did I miss the part where it's, where Wenwu was actually supposed to be King of Khan? What do you did, mean? Did he say that? No. He did he said, call himself Khan the Conqueror or something? No, no, no. He no. says that he was he was called a warlord. He was called the most dangerous man alive. And he named off a couple things, but he did not name uh, Genghis Khan. Yeah, I thought he had, he had called himself the Great Khan or something. No. And I was just like, excuse me? Uh, oh, no, okay. that, unfortunately, I, that would have been cool. But yeah, I think I, think I, think I would have remembered that. I think you didn't, because I'm pretty sure he did say that. Okay. All right. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. Go along with that. I mean, I'm going to watch the movie again, yeah. and then when he's saying it, I'm going to record it and send it to you. I like that idea. That'll just be for Make you. sure you do. I, well, I will. And when you're wrong, I you'll, won't, I won't, you know, I'll just we'll have bring a, this up again. Uh, we might, you, you might uh, hit me with a cake. Can, can I ask you something? <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, they get into the land, and man, I'm going to tell you something, bro. Yeah. Well, the first act I loved... The second act felt very shaky to me, I'm going to be honest. Okay. And then when we begin into here, yeah. Yeah. When we yeah, meet yeah, yeah, yeah. the Nine Tails, I can't remember what they're actually called, but the Nine Tails Fox. Yes, yes. There's a name for that. Yes. And then we meet uh, the, the Key Rin, yeah. the Key Rin running around. That's a strange looking horse or yeah, whatever. It's because yeah. it's a Key Rin, you yeah. fucking 
white yeah. person. Uh, and sure. then the, the, the shishi. Yeah. The, the, the giant, giant land dogs. Dogs, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was, yeah. so, I was so in love, bro. Yeah. I was just like, and they When I was watching this, yes. I was like, this is some of the coolest stuff that yeah. we've ever seen in Marvel. And yeah. it was like, I felt well done. Like, mm-hmm. the CG obviously yeah. all went to this. Yes. And, like, made the them look nice. Years where they nice. dumped all the money. Right, exactly. And then, of course, they have the, see, like, to me, and they have the soft Asian music playing in the of background. Course, yeah. I was like. This would be paradise. <laughs> I, w- I was in paradise in the theater yeah. watching it on the big sure, screen. Yeah. And then, now remember, I don't know anything about these movies. Yeah. I don't watch trailers. I unfortunately oh, saw yeah. the Eternals trailer. Yeah. Uh, so I had no idea what was going to happen. Yeah. When Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon Lady comes out, yeah, yeah. I-, I fucking screamed. Yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yes! <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. I was so happy. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Like yeah, she's a phenomenal actress. Yes, yeah, I love her. And I gotta tell you something, man. Yeah. And this might come off a little bit weird. Maybe not. You're younger than me, so mm-hmm. this lady is fucking beautiful. Oh. Like I like she was sure. gorgeous in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yeah. That was twenty years ago now, yeah. so she's even older. But for an older lady, she's like a Sigourney Weaver to me. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. Very really nice looking for old sure. older course, lady. Yeah, so. Gorgeous. And then we just get a lot of like the training, right? Because yep. now we gotta we gotta catch everybody up and yeah. like how yeah. things are happening. And then they kind of explain why you know yes. he's been called to. And yeah, shit. she's just like, yeah, this is not actually his fault. Yeah. This thing just realizes that he's probably got the strength to let him out, so right. he's just gonna get in his head. He's gonna yeah. fucking yeah. yeah call to him and yeah. and suck him into this. And so we get a lot of like you know fun training stuff and whatnot, some comedy or and nothing yeah. I did, did now. It so go ahead. Yeah, the 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 sisters training pretty cool. Aquafina's training that's pretty cool. And then uh, Shang Chi is like kind of getting his ass whooped and mm-hmm. figuring out how to like discover the heart of the dragon or whatever. Yep. And that's pretty cool. But then he starts thinking about the fact that he had actually completed his mission. Yeah, right? we like we discover that. Yeah, he killed the person. And in this moment, I'm just like, oh, he killed Aquafina's grandpa. You watched uh, too much uh, Cap and uh, Winter yeah, Soldier. Because, like, all of a sudden, right, yeah. she, he's just, like, having a heart-to-heart with him. Yeah. And he's remembering yeah. how, like, the guy wasn't there. Yeah. And he had fucked off to America. Yeah. And so, like, he showed up to kill that guy. And I was just like, this dude showed up to America. And that's why they had the, like, heartfelt conversation with the granny about how grandpa was gone, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, oh, he's about to drop a fucking bomb on Aquafina about it. He killed his grandpa. She's not going to forgive him. And then that, that, nothing. That, that was not at all Thank what happened. <laughs> Thank God yeah. that did not happen because I would have been pissed if that, if that was the reveal from there. Yeah, yeah. But I want to go back to the training, okay? Yeah. Uh, Shanchi. Is training with uh, man. I wish I would have known her name. Crouching Tiger. Yeah. And when they're like, he's like fist fighting and stuff. And when she like eases his hands oh, yeah. into where, yeah. dude, I had a little tear. Yeah. I had a little. I was so moved by this whole scene. Then yeah. he's like, oh, I got it. And he's yeah. like, all right. And he and he's kind of like gives her the eyebrows, yeah. like I'm better than you. And she's just like, yeah. not yet. We'll you know. Yeah, <laughs> just sure. ask yeah. one more time. Like, yeah. uh, so I'm I don't telling know, you, the choreography the was beautiful. Yes, it was all the fight it was choreography amazing. Was so. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we we kind of – there's few in-betweens and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we got the, the history of how the mom actually died, and we get that little stuff and yep. and all that kind of shit. And then he uh, – obviously, Wen Wu shows up yep. to do what he's there to do. And, and then they have, like, the kind of – so it started. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay, here comes another Marvel third act fuck-off fight scene. Yep. And there was just, like, a lot of noise and a lot of – yeah. Stuff going on, yeah. and I was like, okay. Right. I didn't. I'll tell you right off the bat, I did definitely had issues with this like rumble. Yeah. Cause, because cause it's been like 27 rumbles. Yeah. And so, like, now my eyes just glaze over. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, now, that being said, mm-hmm. we got like five minutes of it. Mm-hmm. Like, it was nothing. Yeah. And then we got to the good shit. Right. And, like, like, but here's the thing I disliked about yeah, it, too. Yeah, yeah. I want to add to. Because it doesn't make any sense. Okay. These guys charge in. They start fighting back and forth and whatnot. And then, like, 
Uh, Shanxi is like, I'm gonna run away. But then, like, there's all kinds of guys over here. Like, that doesn't. That's not how the fight would. Work. Like, it, I had a hard time going. How did those guys that yeah. stopped him get yeah. back to there when the line was over? Sure. I know it's something most people don't even think about. I didn't think about. But that's not how a fight would yeah. work whatsoever sure. because you're not gonna get around. I did love was, that it was done pretty quickly. Yes, though. of course. Like, and like, then we get to yeah. see like we're back to god level fighting. Yes, again, right? because so, uh, so Shang Chi fights, fights his dad for a bit. Yeah, uh, he gets thrown into the fucking water. Yeah. I was like, okay, dope. This guy starts letting out those fucking crazy. No, you bats. know, I love this scene too because, yeah. like, again, like you point out how great of a character this is because yeah. he like fucking push, you know. Yeah. He's like, you're not gonna stop me, and then he like stops and he's like, what the fuck did I just do? And you see him like get all emotional, yeah. and then the thing calls out to him again, yes. and he's like, oh yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. move, and yeah. then he shoots. God, yeah. I love. You're, the fucking rings are so amazing yes. to me because he's just like yeah. you're fighting with him and then he's like oh yeah I'm gonna use him as a pogo yes. stick jump oh and they're also my landing yeah. gear boom yeah, right? yeah, I love that. I, when we walked out of the theater I, I was just like hey babe don't get angry with me if I buy ten rings right. and just like start wearing I mean because they just look so cool why not man yeah, you know sure. or worst comes to worst yeah. you're a man of tattoos yeah get them just tattoo the tattoo fucking the ten fucking rings, rings on here yeah. so. Um, uh, so he starts letting them out, and then these crazy fucking like Lovecraftian bats start yeah. coming out and stealing people's souls. And right. I was just like, "Oh, this is much cooler! Like, I'm I'm way into this because yeah. now it's a little, it's almost a little horror, mm-hmm. you know? Because they're like chopping through these things, yeah. and they're just like n- unfazed, yeah. Uh, until they I, use the, dra- until the dragon, 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 yeah. yeah. And I really liked how like now. I almost felt some stakes for the people fighting. Sure. And that's usually the problem that I have with these, like, large fuck-off battle scenes, Mm -hmm. where it's just like, okay, a no-stakes battle scene. Yeah. You know, like, but then this suddenly, it still was pretty no-stakes, but, like, it felt different. It, like, there was something that felt more scary about it. I felt like... So, because we get the special ninja gets killed first. Yes. Right? And then a couple other guys get killed from both sides and whatnot, and then... I think I would have felt that way if the archer didn't get taken a little bit later. Okay. And, like, when he got taken, I was like, okay, that's a character that we were supposed to like or whatever. Yeah. So it's at least a little bit better. Yeah. But importantly, right, he's letting... And, no- and also, I did also like that for every soul taken, this thing gets stronger. Yes. That was also kind of like a different, like, every life matters right. kind of situation. Yep. I like that, too. Yeah, and then we get the dragon fucking coming back with yes. Shang Chi on his back, and he's yeah. just like, and it's an know. enormously beautiful fucking yeah, dragon. fucking like, it's so a, cool. it's a Chinese dragon. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. man, Chinese dragons are so yeah, so sure elegant, yeah. right? They're so I literally beautiful. have one tattooed right. on me. Absolutely, you know, like, they're exactly, fucking that. awesome. Because yeah. like they're you know we're so used to like. The dragons of uh, Game of Thrones dragon, right? Game of yeah. Thrones dragon, or what is the one from Western the famous dragons. one from uh, ba, 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 the Hobbit? Smog, Smog and stuff yeah, like that. Sure. These like big, like fucking, like the Ch- Asian dragons are the exact opposite. Yeah, They're like yeah. these smooth characters yeah, that fucking yeah. float through the They're air. They're literally swimming through the air. Yeah, fucking man, awesome. so yeah. fucking amazing, yeah. dude. And then we get the uh, fi- kind of the start of the final battle mm-hmm. between Shang Chi and his father. Yeah. You know, and I just he learns love to all do the this. things right. that his mom had done. Yes, where he like takes the fucking rings and and steals just, like, the rings yeah, from him yeah. and shit. And then which really like. Now, at this point, mm-hmm. I'm thinking to myself, what are the fucking rings? Yeah. Like, what are they? Yeah. Who, how do they react to these people? Right. Like, they're clearly some, this area's, like, mythology. Mm-hmm. Now I want to know more. You and I love that they piqued my interest even more by yeah, the end of course, it. Of course, of yeah, course. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, he basically fucking... Kind of defeats his dad, mm-hmm. and then the but then the the, thing the explodes spirit up. dragon busts out of that yeah. motherfucker thing, yeah. right? You know, and then his dad gets that naked. thing was monstrous. Yes. If that if there's ever been a uh, Lovecraftian horror on screen, it yeah. was this fucking thing. I know? agree. Like the tentacles all over the place, yeah. stealing the souls out of shit. I was just like, fuck, this is a cool monster. It was. Man, I gotta tell it, you, it too. went full kaiju at the yes. end. By the way, <laughs> right? Absolutely, man. And when Wenwu gets taken, man, yeah. I fucking teared up a little bit. That I was, was just rough. like, just yeah. because it's like the... Oh, and he gives them the rings, right? At right, the end. Oh. exactly. I was oh. just like, man, because yeah. like, he has kind of redeemed himself yeah. at that point in time, and he's just like, yeah. and he just feel for this, because, yeah. you know, it's the dad, you yeah. know, okay. He literally here. got manipulated by an enormous monster. Exactly. And like, yeah, he was a fucked up warlord or whatever, but mm-hmm. like, he was... <laughs> trying know. to live the right life. Yeah, like, at, sure. at the point he had tried... He was to- trying to get back his humanity, really, because yeah. his, his, his wife... Yeah kind of made him human and i think he couldn't run away from his past but while with her he was right. a human being i feel who like loved his kids what i liked about this because i was a little worried mm-hmm. because when he's like 
dad, we need we your family needs you. Yeah. And he's just kind of like, fuck, man, what am I doing? Like he, yeah. he's he's come this far, but what the fuck am I doing? But then the thing busts out, yeah. and then he has to pay for what he's you yeah. know what he's done, which I love that, right? Because yeah, like, yeah. like, I was worried for a minute that it was gonna be like it was gonna end there, kind of, yeah. and like they would like go off together, and he'd be kind and of redeemed. a redeemed character, yeah, right? Know. That would like lead to yeah, he paid for his sins in the end, you yes. know, like he yeah he got the soul sucked out of him by a giant monster, so yes. okay, he got his comeuppance, and exactly. it was sad, you know, right. they made me feel for him. Uh, and then there was the a, end battle yeah, fight happens and crazy whatnot. cool fucking oh, end battle so good yeah, dude, so yeah. wild exactly right and uh, I just love the whole like because the the dragons are fighting and everybody yeah. else is fighting and whatnot but I loved like the end of it when he just like shoots the rings into his mouth and then rips them out of his yeah. stomach yeah. I was just like that's fucking brilliant yeah. <laughs> that's so fucking awesome man yeah. something about it was just so cool to when, me the, when the dragon wrapped him up in the water yeah 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 very beautiful yes and then the like little bats start dropping things yeah, into him yeah, and yeah. just like it goes super saiyan mm-hmm. i was just like fuck yeah, you know yeah, yeah that was and then it starts ripping the fucking soul out of the dragon right. i was like this is the coolest fucking like third act fight scene that marvel's ever given mm-hmm. us you know I, like i mean apart from like Endgame, right but yeah. that's cheating i'm not gonna fucking <laughs> write like, you endgame. have to have like but i feel like it's like at Endgame Especially tier. from a single movie, <laughs> yeah, right? Sure, yeah. You don't have built up tons no. of characters yeah. that just, you know, this was all characters from a single movie. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah and they, then I he, feel like they really just like put the fucking lever all the way. They were oh, just like, just go they're fucking They're like, we're going to give you Chinese fantasy yeah. to the extreme yes, here, basically. Yeah, yeah. And all these f- fantastical characters are going to be in this thing. All these mythological characters. Yeah. And so then, uh, of course, Shang-Chi does win. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, okay, man. And then he comes down to the ground and he like realizes what he lost, mm-hmm. though, man. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, man, that is a fucked up thing. You know, this is all these people. That and okay, we're going to. But then they had the soul sail off. And I was like. Cause yeah. I, cause so here's how this happened, right? Yeah. These people die, yeah. and the woman starts talking, and I was like, man, they should have like a soul send off here, uh-huh. and then they had a fucking soul send off, <laughs> sure, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> that's great, yeah. Oh man, I was so just happy, dude, yeah. with with that, and then. Uh, yeah, and then that's kind of the end of the movie. Of sure. course, they have the, the they funny back. drawback to the conversation yeah. Yeah, again earlier, or whatever. Where they're just like, oh, no, we're like big fucking superheroes right, now. And they're course. just like, oh, girl, you're being yeah, joking. Right. And then Wong comes Wong, out. Um, yeah. I And then, okay, so the after credits, the mid credit, the mid roll scene. Okay. The stinger. Uh, the one that matters. Yeah. Well, because there was one more. Oh, I didn't even watch it. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know that there was one. I didn't. I don't think. I always one. thought because what Marvel usually did, and I don't know if this is still true, they do the mid credit stinger, which actually matters to the story, yes. and then they do a funny thing at the end that only matters. But to... I, but I think that's only been in like one or two movies. This, the, oh, there's the been second one, quite a few actually. I can only remember the shawarma one, and what other one? No, I mean every Iron Man has one. A, a double a joke, yeah, a joke thing at the end of it well, and whatnot. So I didn't, they, well, they don't even matter. That's why you don't even remember yeah, if they, they don't even for matter. The other one, yeah, exactly. Know. So, but the um the one so there's uh Mark Ruffalo's in it yeah. and Lee Bar- uh, uh, Brie Larson's yeah. in it. And I just seeing them, I was just like, oh, this is like this is the thing that I like about Marvel: the overall continuity. Mm-hmm. So when two big ass characters were there, and they're just like, oh, this is the stuff that's going on, yeah. and then she's something like, oh shit, I gotta go. All of this is just like, oh, all of it matters. I fucking mm-hmm. love it, you know, like because it's all okay. just talking about sure. the stuff that's gonna come up in new movies. Uh, but I also love that they were just like, there's a lot of artifacts on this fucking planet. And I don't know what the fuck this is. Right. You know, it's like sending was, a message. Yeah, it's sending, a, sending a beacon. Yeah. I did like, so like Brie Larson, it wasn't that big of a deal to me, I'm going to be honest. And not because I dislike Captain Marvel. Everybody knows. I, I dig me some Captain Marvel. What I, But I knew there was going to be more Captain Marvel. So mm-hmm. that wasn't a big Mark Ruffalo showing back up mm-hmm. really made me happy. Because sure. I was like, okay, we're going to get more Bruce Banner yeah. at some point throughout And this. he wasn't the Hulk. Right, he was Bruce yeah. Banner with a broken arm. Yeah, so, <laughs> so like, like that was pretty interesting to me too because yeah. I thought moving forward we were just going to get Hulk. Professor Hulk, Professor yeah, Hulk, exactly. yeah, for sure. So, so but instead, yeah, we just got him, which yeah. is cool, man. We'll see with where... a still busted up arm. Yes, yeah. we'll see. We'll see where that goes from there. Wait, wait when does his arm get busted? Oh, his uh, yeah, when he snaps. Yeah. Oh fuck, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. When I was in the theater, I was like, "What does he have a broken arm from?" No, oh, that's uh, a yeah, no, yeah. that says, "Of course, yeah. of course." That's At the end of Endgame, he's walking right, around he's with his fucking. Yes, yeah. of course. It makes it makes it. Who knows if he'll ever be able to use that hand again, yeah, especially in the human. I part. hope not. Right, that'd be a great yeah. carryover. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, and uh, you know, be also pretty smart so that you just don't have the Hulk around anymore. You think so? Yeah, I just feel like the Hulk, like uh, like Thor, 
mm-hmm. like Iron Man, like Captain sure. America. They are real phase one characters, mm-hmm. and they should just be like legacy cameos from now on. Yeah. I don't think that they any of them should be the heroes. That's oh, why Natalie yeah. Portman's going to be the Hulk now, or uh, Thor now. Yeah, Thor's going to be just a guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I really do love that, like, there's there's some amount of just, like, this character is important, yes. and he did his part. Yes. But let's not have the fucking Hulk. Anymore. I think let's I agree with you completely. Hulk. I think, I, I don't know, well, I don't want to say I agree with you completely. I feel like... You bring the Hulk and stuff like that if you're going to do like some like ma- major thing again where you're going to have all these yeah, characters back yeah. together again. But, otherwise like just, but for the most part, yeah. right. And especially once you introduce She-Hulk, too. Because sure, yeah, you're, now you're redundant in that character yeah. at that point. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, uh, overall, what did you think of Shang-Chi? Bro? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was uh, top-tier Marvel. Okay. I thought this was uh, far more enjoyable than uh, than Black Widow. Okay. Black Widow, remember, I gave uh, six yeah, or yeah, seven. Yeah. You know, like that was it was a fine movie. This one, nine, ten, as far as okay. Marvel goes, as sure. far as as far as what is what Marvel is capable of, the things that I want Marvel to do for me. Yes. Uh, Give me fun characters. Give me cool shit happening. That's what I want. You yeah. know, I don't want to be thinking about the like. I just want fun shit happening. Mm-hmm. This is. I felt like Marvel just kind of, like I said, putting the pedal all the way down and just going like, just fucking do just whatever. You yeah. know, like just uh, push it to the ball. So yeah, to me, this is top tier Marvel. This is nine ten. I'm yeah. happy with this movie. I can't wait to watch it again. This is gonna be one of those movies that I watch a bunch of times. Nice. What nice. do you think? Um. So when I, when I when I got out of the theater, I was like, I think that might be the best Marvel movie I've ever watched. <laughs> Good, yeah. Most fun mo- Marvel movie yeah. I've ever personally watched. Not saying it's the best Marvel sure. movie, because I still think, like, in my opinion, it's hard to say that there's anything better than, like, Black Panther, Winter Soldier. To me, those two sure. are, like, from a film right standpoint, up your yeah, right, sure. are exactly what is, like, top-notch. Yeah. They're deep films dealing with serious subjects, mm-hmm. and they're almost unmarvelish with it. And that's probably one of the reasons why some other people don't have them as high, because they're like, the Black Panther was kind of boring, especially <laughs> after Infinity War and all this other shit, right? Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I do understand that feeling Mm -hmm. i felt like this was a perfect blend of good characters Mm -hmm. i liked shan chi a lot i liked wen wu a lot i liked all the supporting cast aquafina i was fine with like i felt like she was a darcy character who didn't over darcy it like she wasn't constantly in it so i was able to put up with her right she had you know like she was there so it she, she just grounded Shang Chi's character back into like, remember you're human too, a right? Bit. Yeah. It, but, but it wasn't just like in your face the whole yes. time. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and and she just played a part to the end, right? She didn't like fucking shoot the thing in its eye and it exploded. Right? But <laughs> she also like didn't do nothing, right? She right. fucked the thing up in yes. the throat. Like, yes. okay, cool. Yeah, yes, yeah. I. I don't know if I loved that because I thought she had her part to play because she got them there, which only she could get them there because okay. of her driving abilities. Sure. But it would have been like, like, it would have been silly if like Ben Kingsley did the shot <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Like, I'm so glad Ben Kingsley did nothing. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. dude, that scene, I, again, another scene I laughed out loud yeah. because oh. I was just like, oh, fuck. He died. He, he died or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. just, calm down, man. It's just an act or whatever. Yeah. And then the thing does it too. I, for a second, didn't think he was dead. Right. You know, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. The thing was out here, I was just like, that motherfucker's alive. <laughs> <There's no laughs> He's reason. just playing yeah, and shit. Sure. Yeah. It's just an act. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, overall, like, I would definitely say, like, all hyperbole aside, this is yeah. in my top five. Sure. So, like, yeah. I could, and I want to admit, yeah. um, with this recommendation, yeah. that I have a lot of bias towards sure. this movie. You right? specifically. Like, exactly. Well, that's why when, even just the first scene, yes. I'm just like, Jason better love this yes. fucking movie. Yeah. Like, I feel like... I, I was thinking to myself on my drive over here. If this was the same story, and let's say it was some character named... Um, uh, Jason Hephaestus or whatever, yeah, and he yeah. was a Greek character, yeah, okay? okay, and it had Greek things sure. and Greek. I don't think I would have liked it anywhere near as much, but because it was okay. this Asian thing, and it was, but that's another fucking that white. Just, that just pushes you up, yes. Because exactly. I think that, like, because I really like Greek yeah. mythology, I think that that would have been fucking dope. Sure. But also, the the better sentence for me is, I really like mythology. Period. Sure. sure. So whatever mythology you throw You're me into, I'm with, just gonna be like, hell right. yeah, give me yeah. more of that. You uh, know? Absolutely. Yeah. And and the fact that it was Asian mythology, which I am very, I I enjoy quite a bit. Mm-hmm. It was just definitely yes. straight up my alley. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't have any of the the too many of the trips that I hate with the Marvel does or sure. anything like that. It had good. It had good storytelling, good villains, and it had. 
an end fight that wasn't just yeah. Shang Chi versus himself because yeah. Shang Chi versus that. Dad is Shang Chi yeah. versus himself. And They're just like Shang Chi versus Dad too. But also dragon. Right, exactly. It was like, <laughs> yeah. we're going to give you a little bit of that, yeah, yeah. but then this fantastical yeah. thing that's way yeah. above that type of fight. Yeah. And I was and I was so, thinking to myself so why cool. I love this while I hated um, the WandaVision fight that was kind of similar to this. Yeah. And it's because it's so... That show was so different than what so they were going to get. The right. point. Exactly. Yeah, sure, Whereas yeah. this was, we were meeting fucking Kirin yeah. and fucking Foxtails yeah. and all this other shit. So you had to have that this other story. one was just like mental health issues, right? And trauma, and yes. loss, and also Goku and fighting Frieza. You know, like, like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah, not so. how you end this shit. Right. Exactly. So it definitely did like. Uh, revive, like, because I, I thought Black Widow was enjoyable. I'll never watch Black Widow again. Mm-hmm. Um, it definitely did refire up some of my enjoyment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, just like you, that end scene kind of was like, oh, I'm ready for some more yeah, now. Like, yeah. I want to see what's next. Yeah, I'm too. ready for Eternals, and I'm even more ready for Spider Man. I have to admit, though, maybe I was just in a good mood altogether today yeah, yeah. because I watched the trailer for fucking Venom, and I was yeah. like, I kind of want to watch that movie now. Like, yeah. it actually looked kind of cool. But to me I shit. remember when you first watched the trailer for Venom. Yeah. You said uh, something to the effect of, I wish we could trust Sony to actually deliver on a promise like this because yes. the trailer looked cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, but we can't. Right. Because <laughs> the first like, one was dog shit. I thought to myself, like, I liked what they showed because this new trailer showed, like, Cassidy biting him and this and that, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. And, like, I was like, okay, so they're going to tell a story through that way rather than the real carnage. I'm like, all right, I'm cool with that. And, like, the, you know... I don't have as much of a problem anymore. Them change. I was because I was thinking about this today, and I was thinking about how like the Mandarin, who, the, obviously when Wu was supposed to represent, had like his ten like you know finger rings, and he never like these things that like he did in this story were never part of the fucking Mandarin story. But I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I can have multiple stories. And that's the same thing, like, with Venom. I was like, if you want to give me a different Carnage story, cool. And we'll see, because, like... Yeah, because the original Venom story, Mm -hmm. in almost all of them, if I'm not mistaken, he infects Peter Parker first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... then and so then Peter the Parker rejects it. Yes, the symbiote yeah. takes over Peter Parker first. Yeah. He fights as a he symbiote loves for, it for a while, right, exactly. and then he realizes he's starting to like yeah. lose it a little. Did bit. Did you ever and see uh, Spider Man three? The oh the yeah, but yeah. even then, I had already read Venom comics and okay. watched the Venom arc yeah. of the move of the show back sure, in like sure, the nineties. Sure. So like I was already familiar with yeah. Venom, but like, I mean that's that's pretty much how. The original comic yes, books, exactly. even down to yeah. the bell ringing and all yeah. that stuff, and getting him yeah. off of him. So yeah, so you're right. So they they and then this one they were just like way different. Comes from Sace, yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And then and it's a buddy cop movie or yeah. whatever. So yeah. it will be uh, it'll be an interesting film. I'm um, more much more excited for Morbius than I am excited for. Of course. Uh, That's a smarter Venom. movie. It looks yeah. like a smarter movie than Venom because Venom we know is going to be this action over the top like you know fight. And and here's my other problem with it. too. I feel like Morbius. Kevin Feige got emails about. Yeah. I feel like Venom. They were like, nobody. Yeah. we were fine without you. Yeah. We're going to keep going without That's you. That's what I feel like. Uh, you might be right. But, and my other thing with Venom 2 is like, that fucking movie is coming out the same day as Halloween Kills, which irritates me a little bit. Yeah. But whatever. You know, I, I, I'm, I can see multiple movies now thanks to Tuesdays. Sure. But either way, I'm just like, all right. You know, I think that that movie would come out better if you... I if I was Sony, I'd be like, this is going to come out like right before the Spider Man film, sure, because people are going to be in the mood for like that type of shit, and they're going to be like, yeah, Spider Man, oh Venom, cool, I'm going to go see Venom like two weeks before Spider Man, sure. and then you're the king of the castle for two weeks, and then you let Spider Man take back over. Sure, so yeah. <sighs> either way, I'm ready for more Marvel, yeah, films. Okay, we'll get to what if at some point in time. In yeah, the near so future. when what if finishes, we'll probably do a what if episode. Um, we were going to do. Weekly, then yeah. we decided half. Yeah. Now we're deciding we're just going to review the whole thing. We'll talk about it when it's done. Yeah. Um, uh, if you like the content we're making, you want to support us in whatever way you can, we have a Patreon where there are some uh, Patreon exclusives like yep. secret episodes. Yeah, I yeah. just uploaded the Joker one. Yeah, we got which, the Joker for you. So if you like the comic book talk, yeah, comic book talk. I actually had a really great conversation with one of our patrons about, uh, about that Joker movie. I want to warn... It's rough. 
Oh, it's yeah. The yeah. first thing we ever talked about. It's literally the first episode of anything we ever recorded and the first yes. time I ever edited. And this was before we had all this equipment. So it is rough. It's rough. But, but if you want to watch, if you yeah. want to listen to some like deep cut episode of our podcast, that that's it right and there. And we have a bunch more coming on Patreon yep, yep. as well. We've so. got the Lighthouse coming uh, yeah. maybe tomorrow. Okay. We'll see. So you got Lighthouse coming on the pipe? Yeah. And then uh, the Robocop episode is yep. going to be on there too. Um, and then we're going to, uh, in the future, we're going to cover Dune in October. Yeah. So we're, we're covering Dune in October. And then we've got. We've got uh, a cross over guys yeah. so if you remember last year each year we always do our halloween special for the month of um, of october because everybody knows i am the ambassador of hollow green follow us on facebook uh but not for the next two days so uh <laughs> but uh last year one of the movies that we covered was actually halloween and it just so happens that halloween kills this year comes out this year so we're going to do a patreon episode covering the 2018 halloween which will be just that we're going to gloss over it a little bit because antonio hasn't seen it yet and then more importantly we're going to cover halloween kills as i feel the, yeah we're going to be I, as a person releasing a lot of uh, episodes in october hey, hey, i'm hey, down for it but like more for i you just guys. realized right now there's yeah, a lot we're of we're like five there. episodes in october, <laughs> in october but yeah. half of them will be for patreon so you got to get us on patreon to get yeah. some of that and we've got two stuff. support tiers a dollar and three dollars oh, yeah. three dollars will allow you to uh vote in future um in future movies yes. 